the one thing everyone has in common that have predicted the return of the Lord or the day of the Lord is they have been wrong. They set dates trying to get people to get ready for the rapture, to get ready for this moment. And the day comes and the day leaves. And the next thing they do is they say, well, it was a spiritual, it was a spiritual thing. <laughs> These people make others put their faith in them as if they're a prophet that's hearing from the Lord, as if they're the ones that we need to be listening to. Remember what Jesus said about his return. No one knows the day or the hour, but we have to keep watch. Remember Jesus says that if we don't keep watch, but if we start to beat our fellow servants, if we start to drink with drunkards, he will assign us the place in hell with the hypocrites, where there is weeping and gnashing of teeth. So many people are looking for a prophecy. They're looking for a prophet, but they're neglecting to do the things in their own life, to clean up their own house, to clean up their own heart. Jesus is coming. No one knows the day or the hour, but are we really ready? Are we ready for the return of the Lord? Is your own life in order? Or are you still looking around for other people to speak a word to you? Do you not really hear from Jesus yourself? Are you still living in sin and in bondage to the world, to addiction? Is your life really in order? Are you holy and pleasing before God? Are you perfect as your Father in heaven is perfect? Or are you living a sinful life and thinking that it will be okay, God will understand? You need your white robes for the wedding feast. And if you're not preparing, when Jesus comes, you're going to be like the five foolish who are shut out. Jesus will say, go away. I don't know you. Are you really prepared and are you ready for the return of the Lord? May the grace of Jesus be with you.